I just had a very long and tough plane flight, which is somewhat compensated by the fact that they put me in a very nice hotel room. But anyway, that's the thermal camera at the moment, and the reason he's in a bag is I was just having a shower, which looked amazing, um, which I'll show you later. But uh, for the moment, I'm just going to uh, show you some quick little things about the thermal camera and why I got the one that I did. And so you see this little bar at the bottom here. It's got an upper and a lower limit. Uh, so you can either have it showing you the a full spectral range. So you see that my, my coffee is the hot thing in all of this. Um, or I can make it much narrower. And so the, the, this camera had two features, which is why I went for this one. The first one is it's got very high resolution at 640 by 480, which is almost twice what I would have gotten if I'd have gone for the the more upmarket thermal camera. The other thing, the other reason I went for this one is when you actually turn the sensitivity right up, so it's, it's got a narrow spectral range, um, it, it's quite sensitive. So it's quite sensitive at this point. Yeah, well, even now you see my latent breathing in and out. And usually at this point you start seeing the actual differences in the heat flow patterns on people's skin. So that's another reason why I wanted to get this one is it, it's got quite a good sensitivity like that. And so, yeah, drinking my coffee. Ah. <laughs> right, so, uh, and also, yeah, I mean, with, the, with this heat flow thing, um, I got an exercise bike uh, just filmed me on an exercise bike and the results just blew my mind. I just completely wasn't expecting it. But that is a story for another day. I'll get onto that. And also uh, the shower, the hot showers and cold showers in the infrared is absolutely fantastic. So anyway, yeah, those are the main reasons why I got this camera. It's got a, it's got a good resolution and it's got a good uh, you can have a good temperature sensitivity and also it's got a good temperature range so this thing will go from about minus 20 to over a thousand which is a pretty good temperature range so thank you for the camera